You ready? Yeah. Welcome to Muddy Gras. No matter who you are, where you are, whatever you've done, whoever you've loved, however you're dressed, whatever you ate today, however any naps you've taken, no matter what your astrological sign hey, you're in. Hey, Jan, Jan, we get it. Okay, we get it. whatever. Doors open. Okay, sorry. So, in a serious mode, we're going to um, ask that you put masks on if you're singing. Otherwise, feel free to keep them on or take them off, however you'd like. Any we're other all rules? performers. We're Any all, other rules? Yeah, I, I don't think so. Okay. This is a free-for-all. This is going to be fun. So, it's a delight to welcome you all to the fifth annual, sixth annual, I, fourth annual... I mean, how old am I? Muddy Gras, our yearly showcase of how to embarrass yourself, how to embarrass the entire church community, poke fun at everyone, and discover how many inside jokes you're on the outside of. We like to think of Muddy Gras as um, the gifted and talented display of the congregation. Speak for yourself. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I didn't say anything. And uh, where that talented can be, you know, professional or budding or um, maybe just aspirational and conceptual. We'll see. Um, you decide. But don't worry, folks. We are not voting anyone out of the sanctuary or excommunicating any performers tonight. Although that would be an awesome twist for next year. Just something to think about. Um, I mean... You think about it. Thanks to COVID, we all are on reality TV all the time. Hello and welcome to our virtual audience. Yes. It's so nice that you're here with us. Glad you could join us. So um, let's uh, get the show started for for better or for uh, like worse. For I mean, better or for worse. Is that what you're it. saying? No, I'm it's not, all better I didn't tonight. Say anything. Totally better. Well. We will be your hosts for the evening, and we want to assure you, uh, assure you that there will be no unscripted violence or off-color jokes. Although Matt just walked in, so he better be careful. No slaps, please. <laughs> well, you know what? He uh, obviously wrote this because, of course, they're going to be off-color jokes. I mean, what do you think we are? <laughs> this is Muddy Crock. Come on. Um, and... Uh, Dad, we will strive to keep this program clean. Family and friendly is the name of our game. Tasteful. Exactly. So what we're going tasteful. to tasteful. Oh, excuse okay. me, tasteful. I have right. no idea what you're talking about. We are going to introduce um, each act in segments, or so we'll have a segment of four, three or four yep, acts that we'll introduce batch. now. Then we'll take a break and come on and introduce the next segment. So there's no way we could start a service without featuring our minister and deacon duo. But before you get the wrong idea, you put away the pillows in the balcony. Don't worry. We've, um, this is not a deacon's meeting, actually. So just so you know, they're not, um, you, yeah, we're not going to, they're just singing one tune, so don't worry. It's a deacon's it's a meeting. It's very exciting. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. okay, so sticking close to the family for our second act, the, the skit features a true champion, Simon, and answers an urgent need the facilities committee has brought to the church. I mean, they're a real stickler, so, you know, yeah, really. let your imagination. After that, sometimes it's nice to just hear someone play guitar and sing. Thank goodness. Little did we know what talent resides in the hills of Moncton. And to wrap up this first round, the fleet-footed, pie-baking, age-defying, one and only Martha Perkins. Oh, my goodness, will astound us with her fleet-footed dexterity. That's it from us for a while, so enjoy the first four acts. We'll be right back. First act, the stage is yours. Yeah. So we're going to teach you, uh, this is a, a song in three parts, but we're going to have you sing one part, and all you have to do is sing the same part over and over again, okay? It's a prayer. It's an opening prayer. So Stephen and I will sing it through once, 
And then if you want to sing, sing along. Just slip your mask on if you're going to sing. And we'll just sing that through a couple of times so you get comfortable with it. And then we'll start. Okay? Open my heart. Open my heart. Open my heart. Open my heart, open my heart, open my heart, open my heart, open my heart. Feels okay. good? Okay. You get comfortable. We're going to repeat that a few times. Stephen and I are going to do some different parts, but don't follow us. Just keep singing that over and over again until we're done. Okay? All right. So, do you need that? You good? Oh, yeah, let's get the right note. We'll all start together. Open my heart, 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 open my heart. septic issue taken care of. The next project we need to discuss is fencing. Fencing? Oh yeah, I guess the last time we discussed it was before you were on the committee. We just need a little fence around the back of the shed to keep the critters out and so forth. Anyway, I found a guy. He has great references. Everyone says he's a wonderful fencer. All right. Somebody say, fencer, I'm your guy. <laughs> So, what's your problem? Bats in your belfry? Uh, well, we have been told a time or two. Uh, uh, I think you're a little confused. I don't hurt the bats, just so you know. I just parry, repost, parry, plunge, maybe even a redoublement or two, until they decide that it's too exciting up there and they move out. Uh, I think there's been a miscommunication. We meant the other kind of fencing. Oh, it's a small town. You're in luck. I do that kind of fencing also. Hold on a second. <sighs> so 
glad Good. that's cleared up. I, uh, I was kind of worried there for a minute. I don't just do epe. I also do foil. Different blades, see? And I get to wear this cool metallic jacket called a lame. Uh, I, 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 I'm speaking still. Uh, I guess that means you have a dragon in your basement? That's most of my fencing foil clients need. For them, I just do beat, parry, then lunge. Want me to head down? No, 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 you're still, you're still uh, a little um, confused. Well, maybe it isn't the furnace that's making all those strange noises. Yeah, it would explain some of the other strange noises we hear down there. All right, all right. Go ahead and check. And guard. <laughs> Thank you. 
East side, west side, all around the town. The tots sang ring a rosy London bridge is falling down. Boys and girls together, me and Mammy O'Rourke, trip the lights fantastic on the sidewalks of New York. My goodness, I mean, Martha Perkins. Can you even take it? It's a, it's a real, uh, gives another definition of cutting a rug, right? You should see her on tile. Dancing for the Stars is next with up. With Dad, with the Stars. Uh, Dancing with the Stars is next yeah. up for you. So um, welcome to our first break in action um, and this week's episode of The God Pod. We'd like to get to know uh, one of our ministers a little better. So if I could invite Associate Pastor Susan Cook Kittredge up. Um, yeah. We, it's, a, it's a little segment we're calling Keeping Up with the Kittredges. Um, okay, now, uh, I feel a little stupid asking this. Oh, well, good. Keep going. Uh, Don't let no. me stop you. Roll it on uh, out. If you weren't a minister, what would you be doing? <laughs> he knows Why don't you, you know what? Let's, let's do that again. Let's okay. do that again. Oh. You dumb question. A Cute. dumb question, did you say? Yeah. Who are you drinking sap with early in the morning? <laughs> Excuse oh. me, I don't think we need to go there. Um, okay. Rewind just a little bit. Uh, if you weren't a minister. Right. Okay. I love my job. There's so many different things. I think I would whew, be a writer. Shocker. Um, maybe an artist. Um, or uh -huh. Shocker again. Um, I mean, everyone knows my life. So, I mean, there's just like, my life is an open book. Maybe an architect. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. This is you've been a very exciting really guest. Really exciting. It's it's honestly, you know, you're really. <laughs> Anything else that you like enjoy doing? It, 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 not that probably for public consumption. <laughs> Thank you very much. And wrapping right up. Well, maybe I have um, one other question for you. Okay. I think we'll we'll just trim it right down. Um, you know that you've inspired such community within our congregation by putting so much of yourself in your sermons. As you say, you're kind of an open book. Um, what's something people don't know about you? Ooh. Um, don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, when I was 12 years old, I dressed Elizabeth Taylor. Okay. Uh Excuse me? Well, here's the thing. I was in a hotel 
in uh, London in an elevator, and I got no, in the, wait, Elizabeth Taylor. Which Elizabeth Taylor? Elizabeth Taylor of you know um, the the famous Elizabeth Taylor. National Velvet what Elizabeth. What on earth were you doing in well, a hotel okay. with Elizabeth Taylor? I was in London in an elevator, and I was going down. They were on the top floor, and these two people got in, and I was, I knew who they were. I mean, I knew them, and I could hear my mother getting angry with me for not yes. saying hello to people you know, but I couldn't quite place them. And so it was Elizabeth. I know, I feel the same way when I wake up in the morning and see my neighbor. Um, uh, anyway. It was Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. And she wasn't fully dressed. Her zipper wasn't up. But I, I now realize in retrospect that he was so drunk that he couldn't do the zipper. So he turned to me and asked me to do the zipper. So I was 12 years old, and I'm zipping up. Did Elizabeth. it fit? Did it go? Yeah, did, just, did he struggle? Just. I see. Anyway. I'm Ab glad it was Elizabeth Taylor's zipper. He asked her to zip up and not his. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you very much. Okay, from, fine. Can from I leave architectural now? design to zipping up the stars. You've been a wonderful guest. Join us next week on the God Pod. Godfather, God Father, <laughs> God. Thank you. Okay, next up, we have the very famous Lila Bushy, who is putting on her best middle-aged English pop star to not only play the piano, but to sing as well. Must be like juggling and chewing gum at the same time. <laughs> After, <laughs> no, she says, no, it is not, it is not. <laughs> okay, um, we'll find out. Well, after Lila, we'll be showcasing the talent of even more youth in this church who will perform a skit the Parable of the Good Samaritan, also known as Nine Perfect Strangers. Maybe not. Um, Following that, we have an act that is impossible to describe, but can only be experienced, or so we're told. Observe at your own risk, friends. And wrapping up this set is the professional husband and wife team, anchors of the community of the Charlotte Congregational Church, Than and Peter Harrington. In about two weeks, they will be celebrating 20 years of wedded bliss. For their anniversary, they decided to take a little trip and now are here to tell us about it. So take it away, Lila. Just the touch of a hand 
Listen up, everybody. Today in Sunday school, we are acting out the parable of the Good Samaritan. Luke chapter 1, verses, Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. Laren is Jesus, and she's telling you the disciples of A. As the director, I want you to be loud. And dramatic. Ready? Action. Love your neighbor as yourself. Who is my neighbor? Let me tell you a story. One day, a Jewish man was walking down the road. Suddenly, a gang of robbers jumped out at him and took everything from him. Then they beat him up, leaving him in the middle of the road. A rabbi came walking down the road and saw the man and just walked by. <laughs> then a temple assistant came walking down the road and saw the man and just walked by. Then, <laughs> then a Samaritan, someone the Jews thought were the lowest of the low, came walking down the road. The Samaritan saw the man and took pity on him. The Samaritan washed and bandaged his wounds. Then the Samaritan put the Jewish man on his donkey and took him to the inn, helping him into a bed, and took care of him. The, the other people at the inn couldn't believe their eyes. A Samaritan helping a Jew? The next day, a Samaritan gave the innkeeper money to care for the Jewish man and said they would pay more if necessary. So which was, so who do you think was the neighbor to the Jewish man? The one who showed mercy. Go and do the... Cut. It's okay, but I don't think we need the words at all. Do it again without any words. It's better, but it needs to be faster. Try it without any words, but as fast as you can. I've got it. Do it again without any words, as fast as you can in backwards. <laughs>
yourself as your neighbor your love. Perfect, that's a wrap. <laughs>
So, hey, Dad. Uh, Jane. Did you say you wanted to uh, do something? Well, I think we need, after that act, I think we need to practice a little bit. Okay. Because um, we haven't played in a while. All right, whatever. <laughs> what did you want? Which, which one did you want to do? Oh, you know what? Is my mic on? Can you hear me? I think so. Apparently, you are deaf because. Um, are you talking to me? It's probably, <laughs> I, it's probably best if I can't be heard in all of this. I didn't say that. Okay. I wouldn't say that. Oh, you so know what? what? Is, you remember this? Yeah, this is the one that's good for Easter, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, can you let me, uh, I will tune for a sec. Can you give me an A major chord? Okay, so never mind. You know what? Wait, Dad. Thank you. You know what? Close enough for rock. I don't need to. Who needs to tune? It's great. All right, so um, can you just remind me? God, it's been so long since we've done this one. Uh, um, we have form? a little intro. Oh, uh, right. Five okay. bars, and then you and I sing. Okay. Um, I think I remember. Ray. Ray. I'll cue. Okay. As one. usual. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, it, what? Says, it says, I'm sorry. Okay, if I had a dime, for how many times does it happen? Do you, okay. Okay, ready? Ready. One, two, three. Sorry. Hold on there. So I'm going to go ba da 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 bum. Okay, got it. Oh, yep. <laughs> One, two, three. So, I'm wondering um, if there's uh, another strum you could do. You're like always a, asking me to do it. Can't you be like Claudia? I'm just saying the way I, I'm just saying that she has you know a way what? of picking that is so I know, like. But it's I just, in a little unfair. Can't I'm so, you be like Claudia? All I'm sorry. Time? No, I'm just saying you know, that. Why don't we just scrap this? Uh, Cla I think Claudia is. You know what? I think, why don't we take take a break? We'll take a break. We'll take cool a off a little breath. bit. Yeah, okay. no, no. No, you. I think I think you need the breath. Right. Um, and listen to Claudia. Next up, we have Claudia, um, and she will delight us with her mastery. And, Dad, I would just... I'll pay just, attention. Yeah, maybe you just check out her strumming. Just okay. a suggestion. Okay, so next is Claudia. Um, following her... For our last dramatic, hope. yeah, hope. Um, no, our last dramatic reenactment of the evening, we are going to our minister. Again, we started there, and we're going to end there as our well. Our fearless faith leaders providing 
pastoral presence to wind up this whirlwind of a show. Yeah, we're going to rub a little dirt in this squeaky clean evening. Okay, Claudia, you're up. Hello. So at Charlotte Congregational Church, we often sing about love. Love for Jesus, brotherly love, sisterly love. I want to sing tonight about a different kind of love. Romantic love. This is a two-song medley. The first song is from 1964. The second is from 1936. And the second song is about love and sin. Now, normally as Congregationalists, we leave the sin to the Baptists, but tonight we've got some sin in the congregation. Deirdre? Maybe you can help sing along with me on this one. sing along? I thought we were congregationalists. Ready? L is for the way. Yeah. What's next? O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extra.
Good morning. Morning. What happened to you? I gave you up using my right leg for Lent. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this. I'm missing the days we just pre-recorded everything, and I watched the service for my pajamas and slippers. I mean, I'm still wearing my pajamas and slippers under this robe, but it's not as comfy as my bathrobe, you know? How was your morning? Well, I don't understand why, but Tess didn't want to walk with me when I woke up at 2.45. So I had to go by myself, and it was negative 20 degrees out, and my ski goggles froze, and then they cracked. But I felt invigorated, you know? Not really, but okay. <laughs> anyway, that's when I do my best thinking. So I have several questions for you. I think we should have a line item in the budget for pastoral shoes. I mean, since we have to wear these robes, we really have nothing to work with to look glamorous except for our shoes and our hair. <laughs> okay. The other thing I was saying is that we need a new backdrop. I think we really need one for each season. I'm sure Charlie wouldn't mind putting them up and taking them down. He loves to help, and he needs to stay active. It's good exercise to climb up and down ladders. Um, these might be questions for cabinet, Susan. I've got to get us started. <laughs> Welcome to Charlotte Congregational Church. No matter who you are, where you are, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to church. <laughs> oh, boy. Whew. I'm having trouble with this. <laughs> you want the wireless? No, I just thought that was a pocket. <laughs> okay, oh boy. Here comes Hadley with the time for children. Whew, does she plan these things? Just wing it whenever she gets up there. And poor Charlie and Henry. I mean, do you think they really want to be here? They put on a good face, but I mean, we are Bat and Abby, after all. You've got to wonder, and will Hadley ever be done with this quasi-seminary discernment program she's supposedly in? She should poop or get off the pot, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean, but Kevin, that's just crass. I know poop is on your mind a lot with the septic system at the parsonage, but oops, it's time to preach. How's my hair? <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. God loves you. Be nice. <laughs> Whew. For a second there, I thought maybe my microphone on off buttons were switched. Thank goodness for Deirdre. Knows what she's doing. What would we do without her? Deirdre, Deirdre, Deirdre. <laughs> she gets all the credit around here. Sometimes, I, I, if one more person tells me how great Deirdre is, I mean, I love her, but enough with the Deirdre praise already. Oh, tell me about it. Try having Jane as a daughter. I sometimes feel like people come to hear her play her music more than my prayers. I know, right? Like Trina and Dan Webster, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out their attendance pattern. Is it just when Jane is here, or is it when they're not gallivanting around the world? 
It's almost time to sing. May the blessings of God shine upon you. Try not to look too envious of the snowbirds in their t-shirts on Zoom. It always looks so warm where Martha and Joe Rivera are. Makes me want to move to Texas. I know. It seems like Virginia Kaiser is somewhere new, but always warm each week. Then there's Bob Chudder, who gets to watch the service in his comfy red chair. Why can't we get some of those up here? I'll ask Jeannie McDonough. I bet she can make some. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you all. My goodness, this Let's has been a total blast. For, for everyone who came, for everyone who tuned in, for everyone who participated, this has been such a blast to be with you again. And since we can't end the service without serenading one another, Ebeth and Sandy are going to lead us in one final song. The stage is yours. Oh, and don't forget, if you've got your mask handy, throw that mask on. Has it um, going, and it will, we'll sing it once through, and then we will divide in threes. So, um, one, <laughs> um, like a third say like the first three rows um, and then the next half, you know, this half and then the last three rows. Um, and I, I'll just direct and you guys will be wondering. <laughs> okay. So um, we'll have, I'll direct and do it. So um, I think we'll go. So we'll sing it all together once now, and then uh, Deirdre will turn it on and we'll do it as a round. All together once, and then as a round, singing it as a round twice. And you'll, in order to sing, you'll need to wear your mask. So if you don't have one, you know, you're passing out. If you... um, here we go. Okay, so <coughs> it goes like, oh, <coughs> sorry. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. And then you would just repeat the same thing. And as a round, we'll sing it through twice. Any questions? Nice job. Quick, quick learner. So, okay. Um, you want to? Is it going to be one, two, three? So we'll go one, two, one, two, three. How about that? Okay. So you're going to go back again. Take one. You'll take one, and you'll do three. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, when you're ready, Deirdre. And it's clear, really clearly marked on here. You'll see. Or there, you'll see. Yep. Go now in peace, go now in peace. The Lord will around around you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go now in peace, go now in peace. 
sorry, I forgot about that last part. So everyone, go now in peace, and please come outside and have some warm cider, hot mulled cider.